thing. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm ready for my beautiful day. I got my lip gloss on. I got my sunglasses ready to be put on and to go outside and enjoy my day as soon as I'm done um, here. So, anyway, um, I want to talk some more about difficulty concentrating number 10 because I've been having an issue with this. Well, seriously, shh. I always have had an issue with this, <laughs> but now I have an excuse because I guess it's a big deal in perimenopause. So now I always just say, oh, it's menopause. Um, where you can't find your nouns. You can't. It's like um, this is a shirt. Um, It is a it is a tank top. There you go. It is a tank top. It happens sometimes. It's like nouns leave you. And sometimes people, when you're trying to have a conversation with somebody face to face, <clears throat> especially because you can see them, they look at you like, you know. And it's like whatever, lady or man or whoever you're talking to especially if they're younger, they just don't understand. If they're older, they try to help you find your nouns because they get it. They get it. So just, I always preface because it, I know it's not nice, but I know it makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> and since I'm going to be uncomfortable because I can't find my nouns, I'm going to loop you into it and you're going to be uncomfortable with me. So when I start to find, not be able to find my words, I look them eyeball to eyeball. And I say, please bear with me while I find my words. It's a part of menopause. <laughs> it's a symptom of menopause number 10. And do you want to, please do this. Please do this. It will make your day because the looks that you are going to get are going to be like of either horror that, oh my gosh, you said the word menopause, or they're going to be of, oh, thank you, because I'm experiencing that too, and I understand whatever the case may be, it's going to be a treat. <laughs> So try doing that. And don't worry. Initially, when this started happening to me, and I think it started happening in my, um, I don't know, late 30s, but you know what? I really have always been out to lunch. <laughs> Let's say I'm batshit crazy. Um, when it started happening, it scared me. Because I thought, oh my gosh, do I have Alzheimer's? You know, you think all these things. And thankfully, I didn't have the internet back then to be looking up things online and, you know, in that respect. However, when in doubt, always talk to your doctor because you never know. But for me, this is a symptom of menopause. And it can be annoying and you can let it get to you or you can just... Go with the flow of it. Explain yourself with a smile. And if they feel discomfort, they will they will get over it. And they probably won't ever mention it again. They'll just stand there waiting for you to finish your thought. Um, on the phone, I do the same thing. Please bear with me while I find my words. I'm in menopause. <laughs> and it's a symptom. Have fun with it. I love you all and have a wonderful day.